Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, Thursday evening and time to make some soap. No, this is not a soap you're looking at, trust me, I'm not that good. This is an African Dashik, it's one of my favorite shirts. I love the vibrant colors and the wild, just really neat patterns in this. And this shirt sort of inspired me to do the soap I'm going to do today. So I'm going to do a Taiwan swirl with black, orange, yellow, and white. So, I, I just kind of really like like the pitchforks and the flames there. I really, this is one of my absolute favorite shirts. Get a picture back here of it. One of my favorites, and this is what inspired me to do today's soap. So, I'm going to move you back over here to the soaping area. Put my goggles on. Now, what the plan today is... Uh, this is the exact same recipe I used last week when I did the infinity swirl that turned out so well. It's also very similar to the recipe I did the last Taiwan swirl I did with two shades of green, black, and white that turned out so well. So I'm using um, black oxide, Brambleberry's um, Fizzy Lemonade, the Tangerine Wow for the orange, and titanium dioxide white. I'm scenting it with a uh, bergamot and black tea because it smells so good. This is a really masculine smell. Love it. Behaves well and really lasts in cold process soap. So, the idea here, get a light emulsification, put it into four containers, color it, scent it, put it into my mold, which has you know, the four different chambers, pull this out, and do the Taiwan swirl. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. The last few times I've done this, it's turned out so well. I'm really hoping for the same result. So let's get you into the picture here. Yes, the lye water's cloudy. The last few times I've done this, it's really nasty looking. It's because it has aloe juice in it. Uh, it does not affect the trace or anything. It darkens it a little, but it really doesn't seem to affect the soap. So here we go. This is the last of the aloe juice, so it's the last of it I'll be using, at least for a while, anyway. Alright, we'll make a little bit of noise with the stick blender, get a light emulsification. Truth is, I didn't actually measure this, but it's been sitting out for an hour. I didn't measure the temperature, I should say. And the last half hour spent in the refrigerator, so it's just barely warm to the touch. I did not measure, but I am soaking cool because the, the soap, the oil pot and the light pot are just barely warm to the touch. Just another quick hit is all I'm going to do. I do still see some oils, but that's all I'm going to do for now. Last week when I did it, I hit it one quick time before I poured it, and I can always do that if I have to. So, let's get this into four equal containers. Doesn't have to be exact. Close is good enough. Seems like in these containers, up to about the top of the pea and potato salad always seems to work. Now the problem is, some of these containers, that's starting to wear off. Those look about equal, so we'll just pour a little bit more into each one. it so I can make soap with it later to clean. Alright, 
Now I want to be careful with my colors. I really have too much mixed up, especially the black. And actually, I need to go lightest to darkest. I'm about to goof up. So I'm going to do the white at the end because it's going to be one of the end colors. the yellow pretty vibrant so I'm going to be pretty generous with it. Staying nice and fluid so far. Black's what I've got to really be careful with because I just don't want a lot of black left over in the washcloths when people wash with it. Yep, that's absolutely enough. Very nice. Now, let me just clean my whisk off a little bit because I definitely don't want this black in my white. And it is just a little thin. I'm going to probably hit it one quick time with a stick blender like I did last week. I'm going to put my scent in, kind of eyeballing it to get it equal. Gosh, that smells good. I love the smell of this stuff. That really thinned me down. the stick blender, just like I did last week. Start with the white, lightest to darkest. Just a few quick shots at it. Very nice consistency, I think. Yeah, I like that. Excellent consistency. All right, let's make sure you can see. Yes. So what I always do with this mold is start with the two outer colors. So we'll start with the black and the white on the outer sides. Shove that down, and I'm going to do the yellow and the orange in the center to equal out some of the pressure. And the outers, oops, sorry folks. And the inners, holding up really well. Let's 
starting to thicken a little now, but that's all right. I think I'm still thin enough to do what I need. All right, I'm gonna tap this down. Pull this assembly out. swirl. That's good enough. I'll just put those in something else. Pull this out all in one piece. Put it in here. Not even going to worry about cleaning it up. It'll make soap later for cleaning. I'm going to find my thermometer. I love the way it looks just as it is. It looks so nice. This camera just does not like orange for some reason, though. That just is not what the real orange looks like. But anyway, I used my thermometer as the skewer, so put it in all the way to the bottom. Just swirl it. Oh, it's doing exactly what I wanted. I love it. Then kind of swirl the outer edges, the far, far edges of the mold, and that kind of twists everything around. And how long you do this is just really up to you. That's good enough for me. Pull that out. Now this is a little too thin to work with still, so I'm going to leave it sitting for a few minutes, but oh, that's just what I wanted. Love it, love it. All right. Now, you all know what I'm going to do with these others. I'm going to set this aside carefully. I'm going to take this mold and my extra soap left over here. I don't have a whole lot of black. And I'm just going to kind of make multicolored soap with these. So they will not be wasted. I'm not worried about cleaning these out super well because you all know what's going to happen. I'm going to use those for cleaning around the house. in here. Shake those down just a little bit. Get my rubbing alcohol so we don't have soda ash in these. We'll pull those aside out of the way and we'll get the main soap over here. Yep, it's setting up. It's starting to. Give it a quick spritz right now with 91% rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to let this sit for about five minutes to start to firm up. I'll come back and spray it again, wrap it up so we get a nice hot gel phase. And I will see you folks tomorrow for the cutting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.